Hello and welcome to Children's Chapel at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Tiffania. Thanks for joining me for a special worship time just for kids and their families. We're going to get started with our worship by singing a song together. So you're invited to stand up and sing and dance along with us. No matter what I see, God sees the inside of me. The Lord is looking at my heart. No matter what I see, God sees the inside of me. Sad. You see when I'm mad You still love me and you want to help When you look at me I want you to see L-O-V-E love for my friends and family No matter what I see God sees the inside of me, the Lord is looking at my heart. No matter what I see, God sees the inside of me, the Lord is looking at my heart. You see when I'm sad, you see when I'm mad. You still love me and you want to help When you look at me I want you to see L-O-V-E love for my friends and family No matter what I see God sees the inside of me The Lord is looking at me of me the Lord is looking at my heart now we're gonna listen to a Bible lesson and our Bible lesson for today is a teaching from Jesus but it's not just any teaching Jesus says that it's the most important commandment in the whole Bible you might have heard of other rules in the Bible, like the Ten Commandments or a lot of other rules that are in there. But Jesus tells us that all those rules can be summed up in this one most important rule. Do you want to know what it is? Let's put on our listening ears and watch and listen to the greatest commandment. Let me tell you a story from God's Word. One time, Jesus was teaching, and some people came up to him with a question. They said, Hey Jesus, what's the most important rule that God ever made? And so Jesus said, The greatest and most important rule in all of God's Word is this. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And here's the second most important rule God ever made. Love other people as much as you love yourself. In fact, Jesus said that those two rules were so important that every other rule in the Bible depends on them. Wow! So loving God and loving other people must be pretty important for Jesus to say something like that. But how do you do that? Let's start with your mind. Your mind is important because everything you put in it is going to affect your heart and soul. That's why you have to be careful about what you put in your mind. The Bible says not to have a mind like the world, but to renew your mind. One of the best ways to do that is to read God's Word as much as possible. You can also use your mind to learn about what God is doing around the world. For instance, did you know that there are people all around the world who have never heard of Jesus? So God sends all kinds of special people, missionaries and Christians from churches all over the world to go and tell them about Him. That's a pretty important job to have. Now, what about your soul? If you know Jesus, that's the part of you that goes to be with him forever in heaven when you die. 
But did you know that you can be with Jesus right now? It's called praying, of course. Just like you talk to people you love, talking to Jesus is a way to love him. He wants to hear everything about you, your hopes, your dreams, your thoughts, your fears, everything. And you know what? You can also pray for other people. You can pray for your family, you can pray for your friends that don't know Jesus, and you can pray for the missionaries all around the world and the people they're telling about Jesus. Praying for people is one of the best ways to love them. Speaking of love, what about your heart? Your heart is the part of you that controls the things you love and motivates you to do things. If your heart loves Jesus, you will want to do things that please Him. You can tell the people around you about Jesus, like the missionaries do. The people in your home, school, and community need to know about Jesus too. In fact, telling someone about Jesus is one of the best ways ever to love other people and love God. But you can't do this alone. It will take all of us who love Jesus to share his good news. You, your friends, and your friends' friends could make a huge difference in a person's life who doesn't know Jesus. And remember, sharing about Jesus with people from other countries might be as simple as making a new friend at school who comes from far away. If you keep loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and loving other people, you never know what could happen. But one thing is for certain, God's going to use you to do some amazing things. So what are you waiting for? The world needs you. So you can see from the Bible story that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. This is what Jesus tells us is the most important thing. And if we are doing that, then we are going to do everything else the right way too. And Jesus doesn't forget to tell us the second most important commandment is to love our neighbor as ourselves or to love others as we love ourselves. Now, it's important to remember that these two things are essential. Loving God with all that we are, with all that we have. Telling God what's going on in our lives through prayer, staying connected with God. It's so important. And it's really important to love others, to share God's love, to show other people how we care about them. And it's not just for people that we like or people who might be our best friends, but to share God's love with everyone, no matter where they're from, no matter who they are. That's our call as Christians. Now, it's not always easy to always share God's love, to always be kind, and that's okay. God forgives us when we make mistakes. We just have to ask God to forgive us and we can try better next time. But this teaching always helps us to remember the most important things are to love God and to love others in all we say and do. Now, you guys did a great job listening, so we are going to sing a few songs before we go. You can stand up and sing and dance along with us. Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus. 
Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. Right now, before we all go, we are going to pray together. And like I said, prayer is one of the ways that we stay in love with God, that we show God how much we love God and that we can have God's love in our hearts. So let's put our hands together and close our eyes. And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for your love. Help me to love you and to love others in all I say and do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today here in Children's Chapel. It's been great talking with you. We're here every week at 930 on Sundays with a new Children's Chapel video. And we have worship in person at 1030 with Children's Sunday School in person if you want to join us that way. But we will see you next time. Bye-bye.